Okay, I'd like to tell you um, the, about how to find the electric field at the center of a semicircular ring of charge. Um, so let's go back to the last one. The last one we were finding the electric field um, along this axis. And uh, we did all the physics there. And what we got was um, this equation. And um, I was pointing out that the R... Uh, if the R is really small, as R goes to zero, then that goes. To, then you can make that term zero. So then you really have a to the third power, because a squared to the three halves power um, is just a cubed. But then that a cancels with one of those, so you just get kq over a squared. Okay. Um, I would also like to point out though that if you're at the center, the electric field right here at a equals zero is, um, let's see, if I put a positive test charge right there, it'd be pushed the same amount by all the little different dqs. And so um, it would totally cancel there. There is no electric field at the center. And let's take a look at our equation. If I make a equal to zero, then um, this bottom part is just gonna be r cubed uh, because that will be zero. But this being zero means the whole thing goes to zero. So yes, it's predicting that right at the center of the um, right at the center of the charge, the electric field is zero. So we might expect the electric field if it's, it's if we plot it e versus x for that ring of charge, it might look something like this. Might go up and then come back down like that and go to zero. And so there'll be some max. And you could find that max if you wanted to, um, if, because you know a little of calculus. So you know that the max is going to occur when the slope is equal to zero. So take the derivative of this with respect to A, and you can find the maximum the electric field will ever be. But it is zero at the center, and it is zero when you get really far away. Okay. Um, I'd like to uh, do the electric field at a semi at the center of a semicircular charge right now and so that's a little bit like what we we're talking about um, if you have get a piece of paper here let's put a coordinate system here and um, let's have a semicircular charge here so here we have this ring that has a charge q And it's spread out over this semicircle. And we'd like to find out what the electric field is right here. Now let's say that's a positive Q. Let's call this distance A from here to there. It's A. I suppose we could call it R too, huh? Uh, we'll just leave it at A. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little segment right here. Let's make um, the segment right there. This will be the DQ. And um, it's going to put a field, just DQ, the field just from DQ is going to be going this way. And um, let's call that, since it's really little, because DQ is really little, let's call that DE. And it turns out that um, if I look at this as an X and a Y component, the x component is going to cancel out with one that's over here, going the other way, but the y's won't. The y components won't. So uh, let me call this de, and then let's call this one, this component, de sub y, the one that's coming straight down. Let's call this theta, but then that means that this is theta. Okay. Well, the electric field just due to dq is um, dE, and it's going to equal um, k times dq all over the distance between um, dq and the point, so a squared. Okay, but um, do you see how the, the electric field from each dq is pointing in a different direction? All the the de sub x is cancel. These all cancel. 
because of the symmetry of the situation, but the DEYs don't. Now DEY, if I put a Y here, then that would be um, then time DE times the sine of theta. So this would be the sine of theta. So there you have it. All right, um, it turns out that theta is going to be varying and dq is my differential. So I'd like to put dq in terms of theta. So um, what I'm going to do is, um, if you think of th this little segment here as d theta, there's a little, that's a very, very tiny uh, wedge in there, and that's d theta. I'm going to say dq is to d theta as q q is to now that's a, a very specific amount of angle that's pi so dq is to the little d theta as the big q is to, uh, to the entire pi not two pi that'd be for a whole circle so dq um, looks like if I solve for that, dq is equal to q over pi times d theta. Okay, let's go put that in up there. So dey is equal to k times um, sine of theta all over a squared. And then for dq, I'm going to put in q over pi times d theta. Okay, but if I want um, e, didn't leave myself much room here. If I want the electric field then in the y direction, um, I'm going to sum up with an integral. Now before I write the integral, I'm going to pull out all the constants. And we have a lot of them. We have k q, pi, and a squared. So I pulled out all those constants. And now I have just left in there sine of theta, d theta. And I'm going to integrate from theta equals 0, right here, to theta equals pi. Okay, so let's do that integral. So EY is equal to KQ pi over A squared, excuse me, KQ all over pi A squared. And then when I take this integral, I'm thinking that that's going to go to cosine of theta. And I think that I want that to be a negative cosine of theta. Let's see, take that derivative and see if that, sure enough, that turns into sine of theta. That's all good. Okay, um, let me come up here then and um, put this over here because I have a little room over here. So um, bringing this over here, let's put in pi first of all. Now the cosine of pi, the cosine function looks like this. So at pi, it's negative 1. So when I put in this, e sub y is going to be, if I put in pi first, it's going to be k q pi a squared, kq divided by pi a squared. And when I put in pi, it's going to be a negative 1. See how it's a negative 1 down here? This is negative 1 and 1. So this is pi. And so this is going to give me a negative 1, but it's a negative. So it's going to give me 1 minus. And now if I put in 0, it's going to be a 1. So it's just going to be a 1 minus a negative 1. And so that's going to be 2kq pi over a squared. That is the electric field at the right there right at the center of a semicircular charge all right i got it done i didn't think i would get it done in 10 minutes but i did bye